Great readers are great leaders. You've heard that before. But how true is that? Some researchers claim that the average CEOs read 52 books in a year. It goes without saying that that explains why most of the CEOs know much more than their employees. If you're going to be the head, you'll have to be ahead. And there is no other way to be ahead than to be well informed through great books. I told you about when I was appointed to lead a group of intelligent people who were far ahead of me in smartness and knowledge. Well, I got to reading profusely until I started to sweat in my brain. Before long, I was doing better and leading these people as best as I could. Excellence comes through being well informed. If you're not knowledgeable, you will be outperformed. And when you're outperformed continuously, you become obsolete. If there is a discussion that keeps me bustling all the time, it's the discussion on books. I may be tired and weak, but when it's time to discuss books, especially with other book lovers, I am always excited. In today's video, I will be sharing with you 5 free books that are worth much more than a university degree. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and click on the notification button so you don't miss any exciting videos. 1. Think and Grow Rich Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill considers the psychological power of thought and the brain to help you build your career for monetary and personal satisfaction. Initially published in 1937, this is an all-time self-help classic and a must-read for investors and entrepreneurial types. Think and Grow Rich is a state of the mind. The book looks at the power of thought to manifest strong desires and a definite purpose into reality. It is not easy to turn your passion into reality. However, if the desire is strong and you're willing to raise the bar, you will win. Napoleon Hill projects this formula for success. Desire plus ideas plus plans plus massive action equals success. 2. The Science of Getting Rich In this book, author Wallace D. Waddles explains a simple method to achieve abundance, thinking act creatively to add value to others. Mr. Wallace reveals that money is a medium of value. So the more value you provide to others, the more value you get back in the form of cash. Waddle's action steps teach you how to maximize the value you offer other people. The first action step is to develop a clear vision of what you want. Instead of fire, aim ready. The sequence should be ready, aim, fire. What is your specific plan to realize your vision? Are you taking action before you have clearly thought through what to do? There are all kinds of ways to make money. The most important question for you to answer is, what are you going to do differently and better than anyone else in your industry? The book also emphasizes the idea of creating instead of competing. When you're focused on your competition, then you're not creating, you're just reacting. The book highlights other steps to help you build a life of wealth. 3. Idea Virus This book by marketing guru Seth Goodot is one of the best materials ever written on marketing. Its premise is that the age of interruption marketing, where companies bombard you with adverts in the middle of your favorite TV show, is phasing out. Marketing by interrupting people isn't cost-effective anymore. Today, you waste marketing money if you only seek out people and send them unwanted marketing messages in large groups and hope that some will send you money. Instead, the future belongs to marketers who establish a foundation and process where interested people can market. You have to discover and unleash the idea that naturally attracts people to you. This is where the idea virus comes in. An idea virus is a big idea that runs wild across your target audience. It's a fashionable idea that propagates through a section of the population, teaching and changing and influencing everyone it touches. You know Hotmail, right? Well, Hotmail never ran a lot of TV ads. It just became popular. iPhone and Apple products rarely make TV ads. The Apple products line is an idea virus in itself. People catch on whether Apple decides to market it or not. This is the premise of the idea virus by Seth Goodon. Find an idea people will be willing to die for and you will never waste your time pleading for the audience with your hard-earned money. What millions of ad money should do for you, a great idea will do for you. The book, Idea Virus, is available for free on the internet. 4. Purple Cow This is another remarkable book by Seth Goodon. The Purple Cow is an inspiring self-help book for entrepreneurial marketers who want to be different. Goodon offers practical tips to make your brand remarkable through innovation. Using the illustration of a herd of white cows and a single purple cow, your natural instinct is to focus on that purple cow and ignore those white cows. Purple Cow argues that the only way to stand out from other businesses today is to innovate something new, unique and remarkable. In the world of smartphones, laptops and other devices, Apple Inc. differentiated itself by creating a sleek and expensive brand. Godan points out that 80% of the 30 newest top 100 brand lists succeed by word of mouth 
around what they sell rather than through advertising. Successful brands like IKEA, Starbucks, SAP, Krispy Kreme, JetBlue, Google are all built on remarkable products that people loved and talked about. If you want to succeed today, Seth Gooden's Purple Cow advises you to make yourself, your brand or your business remarkable by being different. This book is available for free on the internet. 5. How to Win Friends and Influence People How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie is a self-help classic that reads as a life manual. The core idea is that you can change other people's behavior only by changing your own. It teaches you the principles to better understand people, become a more likable person, improve relationships, win others over and influence behavior through leadership. When dealing with people, let us remember we're not dealing with creatures of logic. We're dealing with creatures of emotion, creatures bristling with prejudices and motivated by pride and vanity. The first time I read this book, I was shy and quite afraid to meet people. However, after reading the book, I became so confident and started to make a lot of friends in the same week. Get the book on audio or text format, free on the internet. If this video inspired you, share it with your friends. We love you.